everyone will be in the library, just inside. If Barrett were here, he'd probably tell you that you're part of something bigger now, and he hopes you'll make this place your home. Welcome to Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. Would you care to tell us what happened to our friend? Why you're here and he isn't? I see. Vasco, verify. All statements made have been factual. 
This is just typical. Barrett hands over our ship and our robot to some random employee of that discount mining outfit he uses. Walter. And if we hadn't insisted on installing those emergency protocols, I guarantee you this rock breaker here would be halfway to Neon. But that didn't happen. She's here, with the artifact. Thank you, Matteo. Now, let's focus on what's in front of us, shall we? What happened when it was extracted? Did anyone see anything? Hear anything? Interesting. Similar to Barrett's description of the experience, with less embellishment. There. Are you hearing this? Do you all believe me now? Whether it happened or not wasn't in doubt. But honestly, Kyle, expect us to believe in fairy tales. If this is the greatest mystery in the universe, why couldn't it be part of the ultimate mystery? But gentlemen, can we please focus? Noel. I think it's time we tested your theory. Right. Let's see. We know the artifacts react to each other. The pieces we already have move when they're in close contact. Now, if we add this new one to the two we already have... The artifact. If you could place it on the table here. first. Oh my god, that's it. They're reacting. Look at how it's coming together. That energy that's arcing between them, no manufactured material in the settled systems can do that. None of them. This proves that... Easy, girl. Breathe. You'll have a heart attack. She's not the only one. If they're coming together, that means there's a set. Built by an intelligence outside the settled systems. Still 2,000 credits for our little wager, Patrick? You're on, Walter. Well, if we had all the answers, it wouldn't be exciting, now would it? Not to take away from the moment, but what are we going to do about our new friend here? <laughs> so, are you ready to get to work? See if exploration is the life you want to lead in this little universe of ours? Individually, they're just odd hunks of metal, another oddity from the uncharted reaches of space. As to what they are, what they're building, well, you'll be part of solving that puzzle now. We're all here because we're committed to exploring space. Humanity may have settled the stars, but that doesn't mean we should stop diving into the unknown. Beyond that, you'll be expected to use your own judgment, just like the rest of us. You should take some time to get settled in. Introduce yourself to everyone. Some of our members aren't here, but you'll meet them soon. Come find me when you're ready. You and I are going to be doing some traveling together. Get your feet wet. And here, I think you've earned something for bringing the artifact to us. In addition to credits, why don't we set you up with a backpack with some boost capability? Hmm? You'll need it out in the field anyway. Just mind your head. Hello there, Vasco. 
Greetings, Walter Stroud. How may I assist you? Ah, uh, no, I don't need anything. Something you Just, need? Just, uh, checking in. Seeing how you're doing. At present, all systems are functioning well within established parameters. So, are you ready to get to work? Or was there something else? Of course. I have been given no alternate instructions. We're going to be doing some old-fashioned detective work. The artifacts are relatively inert once they're out of bedrock. That means people can pass them around, not even knowing what they are. I've been letting my contacts know to be on the lookout for strange metal objects. Get back a lot of noise, usually. But a tip from the UC Vanguard sounds promising. We have to assume that we're not the only ones to have stumbled into this mystery. But most people aren't going into space looking for the unknown. They're looking for places to settle, resources to extract, territory to defend. An odd-looking rock or a single strange hunk of metal wouldn't mean much to them. That's why Constellation exists, in a way. To put pieces like this together. A volunteer force that helps defend the edges of United Colonies' space. They're always looking for recruits. Lots of retired veterans and dangerous professionals mixed in with part-timers who barely have a laser cannon welded to a hull. My contact is in the recruiting office, so he hears a lot about what the volunteers are up to. Felt the same way when I started, too. There's an electricity in the air when you know you're about to uncover something. But it's not just that. I want to take this opportunity to see how you handle yourself, and for you to learn more about us. I'm going to be sticking with you for this. We'll be traveling together until we either find an artifact or this lead runs dry. You mean besides the ship, the robot, and a place to stay all rent-free? We do have some funds we can disperse from time to time. Not to mention, I think we can get you a proper suit. We're explorers. We keep a lot of equipment on hand for that purpose. So the more you work with us, the more we can share what we have. We'll need to head to Mast. Check in with the Vanguard recruiting office where my contact works. And listen, whatever you were before, or whatever you do once you're out there, I don't care. So long as you don't bring UC security to our doorstep. Every member of Constellation is their own conscience. Understood? I mean, Constellation has a roster of members who haven't always been on the right side of their respective society. We're risk takers. Some of us have seen the inside of a jail cell more than once. If you join us, it means you're committed to our mission. In exchange, we give you latitude in your choice of means. Those are the rules. Advance humanity's knowledge to the best of your ability. As long as you do that, I'm not here to judge you. Now, let's you and I get over to Mast. I trust you're still satisfied with your choice to join Constellation, Noel. It's a dream come true, Sarah. You know that. I'm glad to hear it. You could have done just about anything. So, it's important to me that you feel valued here. Okay, maybe not every single day is a dream come true. But the work we're involved in, the discoveries we're making, it's all worth it.
I hope you are satisfied with the quarters available to you. That scientist out in front of mast, staring at trees, sounds upset. Whatever it is, can't be that bad, right? <laughs> 